My name is George McDaniel, and I'm a second year master's student at the Center for the Study of Southern Culture here at the University of Mississippi. This is my three minute thesis. This is a photograph of the small house that sits behind the main house at Roanoke, William Faulkner's estate. My thesis is centered on this house, not just the physical structure itself, but also the lives of the people that lived there. In order to examine this, my thesis is divided into two parts. The first part will seek to recenter the narrative on the lives of the African Americans who lived here, and the second part will seek to reinterpret the physical space itself. The house was built in 1930 by William Faulkner, shortly after he purchased Roanoke. He built it specifically for a woman named Caroline Barr. Ms. Barr had been a domestic for the Faulkner family when William was a young boy, and in 1930, she returned to live and work in the same capacity for William and Estelle and to help raise their young daughter, Jill. She remained there until her death in 1940. Ms. Barr was a major figure in Faulkner's life. She was the primary inspiration for Dilsey and the Sound and the Fury, and in 1942, when Faulkner published Go Down Moses, he went so far as to even dedicate that work to her. After her passing in 1940, the house was occupied by Andrew and Chrissy Price. Andrew worked as a groom or stableman for William, and Chrissy worked as a housekeeper for Estelle. They remained in the house until 1969, seven years after Faulkner's death in 1962. In fact, their son John even remained in the house until the early 1980s. This section of my thesis will seek to explore their lives. How did they navigate? between the white world of their employers, the Faulkners, and then also their own independent lives as African Americans. Where did they go to church? Who were their friends? What sort of social groups might they have been a part of? These may seem like simple questions, but they are questions that have gone unasked. The second part of my thesis will seek to reinterpret the physical space itself. The ultimate goal at Roanoke is to transform the house into an interpretive center for the history of African Americans at the site. Therefore, I will lay out a roadmap of sorts for the university and Roanoke in particular to use as a guide as they do this work. What sort of challenges have they faced? What sort of pitfalls might we avoid? What have they done that has worked and what has not? I will also try to get feedback from the African American community here in Oxford to see what sort of stories they would like represented since in fact this is their history. This is important work. It is important because for too long, the lives and histories of these people have been shuttered to the public, just like the house itself. In addition, is a unique opportunity for the University of Mississippi to demonstrate leadership. It is also an opportunity for the university to join other universities and colleges across the country in dealing with this difficult past of African American history. It is time to tell their stories. Thank you.